Hello, we are two pastors named Mike, and uh, we have been given some videos that we're going to check out today, and uh, let's see what the world's got cooking. Number one. Hmm. Mm, it's an, a logo. Ariana Grande here is, I think, perfectly articulating the way that a lot of people feel about God. Was religion a part of your life growing up? It was, yeah. I, I like went to Catholic schools, went to Catholic church. I did the Sunday church thing, and um, I think it was the Pope at the time was like totally homophobic and totally not a fan of women at all. Or like also like SpongeBob or Harry Potter, and I was like, nah, f this, I can't do this. <laughs> not for me. I was like, I'm out, guys, I can't do it. I just feel like I'm not a very religious person. So I became more spiritual, and um, here I am. Now what's so sad about this to me is that there's a huge swath of people who are rejecting what they think is Christianity based on the failures of people, but they don't actually ever know the gospel, they haven't examined the case for Christ. They've never been born again. That's very valid. Very good. That's Who is this valid. woman? She, okay, so she was, I think, in Nickelodeon or Disney or something. I think it was Disney as a child star. And then she grew up, became a singer. And I think she's like a singer slash sex symbol now. And now yeah. she's actually going to be one of the witches in the Wicked movie coming up. That I do know. That's fine. There's a big difference between... Uh, Biblical Christianity and religion. It's a big yeah. difference between biblical Christianity and Catholicism. Yes, and I don't know why you would equate homosexuals or women to SpongeBob and Harry Potter, but uh, you know that's just me. But when she equated them to the Pope and the Catholic Church, that was uh, adequate. <laughs> Turn up your volume, will you, please? Yeah, let's see. Let me find that here. Oh, it's up. Yep, it's up all the way. Okay. It's up. Yeah, it must have been the video itself. Okay. Let's go. I'm hitting I'm hitting. I've never heard of that woman one. in my life. Yeah. She's not that interesting anymore. Not to me or anybody really. Well, that's not true. She's probably really popular. All right, next Fuzzy one. Wuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. So Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't really Fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy Wuzzy will always be Fuzzy as long as you think Fuzzy is his name. Amen. That's what you got to read. Fuzzy is not his name. It's his description. His name is Wuzzy. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> so the bear's name is Wuzzy. So of course, if Wuzzy doesn't have hair, <laughs> he ain't never been fuzzy. <laughs> you need hair to be fuzzy. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. <laughs> That's why you judge a tree by the fruit it bears, not their lead. <laughs> by the fruit. Some of y'all, I know it's going to hurt. Some of y'all are in relationships with people that got an abundance of leaves, but not nan fruit. Oh, y'all don't like this kind of teaching. But I'm telling you, some of you have been swindled by how their leaves look and you ain't seen one fruit. I'm talking in here. If you don't like the revelation of Fuzzy Wuzzy, well, let's listen to Maya Angelou. She done told y'all when they show you who they are, <laughs> believe them. Now, if you don't like Mother Maya, then I don't know who wrote this, but this is annoying it too. If it quack like a duck, it's a duck. You need to look at these people that you're in relationships with. Uh, the leaves is nice, but where's the fruit? No, 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 no. The leaves is nice. They green and all, but where the fruit? Where the fruit? And make sure that when you're talking to an apple tree, you don't see oranges. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> not saying anything because he's not relevant about anything. No, that's the point. This is before we did this. I was literally plucking stuff off a shelf and preaching about Febreze, Altoids, and a toy car. That's what he's doing. It's hilarious. Like basically, we can preach about anything. It's true. You can preach about anything. I'd walk out. Well, I'd walk it's out. It's clearly a joke at pastor's I hope expense. So. I hope it's. Oh a joke. no, it clearly is. I'm saying like you could. You, could you not take this you cell know. phone and preach on it easily? This table ooey, and preach on it easily. You can tie gooey, everything into the word. Worm. What? Ooey gooey. He was a worm. And he landed up on a railroad track and their train ran over him. <laughs> ooey gooey. There. Let's make a message about it. I bet you could. <laughs> I bet you could. What could you do with ooey gooey? In the word. You easily could do something. I could do something. Okay, do it. Okay? Okay. Uh, ooey gooey. Yeah. Like the... Like the remnant from Goliath's neck when David slew him. Like the things that came gushing out of him as David took Goliath's sword. <laughs> hey, you could too. Get out of here. Next video. I'll beat you up. 
Why do I keep hitting the right clicker? I don't know. This is a large pad. Ooey gooey. <laughs> Ooey gooey. Do better than that, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. That's Holly. bad. That's bad. Did you see that? I must have missed That's it. That's bad. Can I play it again? Yeah. Okay, that's bad. Watch this. Watch. Watch what he watch what he says and watch what he's doing. Right. Do better than that. Every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Hallelujah. Every praise he is cursed. to our God. He cursed. No, no, you didn't hear that. He started saying the S curse because of the girl that came on who's got a wagon that he likes. Isn't that screwed up? That's bad. It's bad. That's really bad. Jeez. Where do you find these at? The internet is an amazing place. Listen, listen, listen. I'm getting ready to say something that at first you're going to disagree, but by the time I'm finished, you're going to need somebody to help you misunderstand it. Mm. Praise is not your weapon. See? My God! Y'all disagree. <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, but he doesn't have an ear. Here, 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 here. Listen, 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 listen. The Bible says, let everything that's in a fight praise God. No, it don't. It says, <laughs> let everything that's in warfare pray. No, it don't. It says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord, which means praise is not my weapon, but my responsibility. Your real weapon is holiness, righteousness, obedience. That's your weapon. But praise is my responsibility. No, 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 let's break it down. Because I cannot give myself life. Mm -mm. I did not give the breath that's in my body. The Bible says he breathed the breath of life into me. So praise is my responsibility. Y'all missing this. <laughs> praise is my responsibility. Don't miss it. Praise is my responsibility. I'm getting tired trying to break this down. So let me help you. Praise is my response <laughs> to God's I feel help. <laughs> it is a joke. He's not preaching to people. Is it because he keeps running off? It's it's totally a joke. There's no way this is real, but that was better than the last one he did. But running off on screen, I mean, that's just kind of getting me every time. Well, you're just in that little screen area. Oh, yeah. No, he's probably got people there. No. No, oh, no yeah. way. No, the way he's acting, there's no way he's got people there. There's oh, yeah. no way. If he has people there, I'll buy you a Chinese dinner. How you gonna know? How you gonna know if there's a producer there? will know? A producer will Is find there people out. People there, producer. Bam! He said he didn't think so. He know. <laughs> you don't owe me nothing. There's a difference okay. between thinking and knowing. Mm. You mean he got away? Well, yeah. Skippy here made sure of that. Incredible. You're not affiliated with me. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna watch that again. Yeah. <laughs> You mean he got away? Well, yeah. Skippy here made sure of that. Incredible. You're not affiliated with me. <laughs> I love it when they take those old videos and put those on it. That's hilarious. That movie was pretty good. I heard the second one was trash. Anyway. Don't know. Don't they know. Who, who is this? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that G.E. Patterson right there? I don't know. <laughs> That's so bad. I'm going to play again. The yoke of the devil has been destroyed. <laughs> that poor woman, she's like... She probably needs a She's 70. Brace. Yeah, no I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure that's G.E. Patterson sitting there. Brother, <laughs> that I'm pretty sure. Oh man, I don't even I know who that is, that 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 band, but I, I mean when I did that when I was younger in a band and I'd had to, you know, do it while I played at shows and whatnot, I would I would feel all frazzled afterwards a little bit. The fact that this woman's doing it, uh, I mean, that's a weird reaction to the yoke of the devil being destroyed. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Not like that. No. <laughs> No. You never did the, you know, the what is it? The uh, the uh, toothbrush where you do this? 
<laughs> you never done that? Oh, I've done that. You a have? Lot. Yeah, like, like... Like that fast? Like the Jar Jar's boss. <laughs> like Boss Nass? Yeah. Did you just compare yourself to a fat frog yes, alien? I did. I did. Oh, man. You, you got to renew me, your mind. You asked me if I could do that. <laughs> I said, yes, I could do that, but I'm not going to No, do if it. you've done it. I've done it. I can do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> will I do it? No. I will not do it. <laughs> Gosh. Maybe for a fundraiser, I'd do it. <laughs> we just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> we just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no. My giggle box isn't turned over today. Yeah, it's not. I guess not because I'm like I don't. That's pretty funny. If that's what the church is coming to, it's pretty sad. What do you pretty mean? Pretty doggone sad. Well, 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 okay. Well, did you hear that guy say, you know, if Paul were alive today, we'd be getting a letter. Yeah. Yeah, we that got was letters. What it was. We got letters from Paul. Yeah. And they apply today just as much as they did 2,000 years ago. Of course. So we're not going to get a different letter. Of course. But they're right, saying so if the church stupid. was alive today, it's hypothetical. The church is alive today. No, no, no. If the church, okay, not the church was alive today. The church today, if we were alive back then and dealing with all the same stuff we're dealing with now, that Paul would have sent us a letter. That's all. That's all they're saying. All right. He sent us a letter. He sent us a lot of letters. Dr. Literal. Dr. Literal. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Here we go. Maybe this will make me laugh. Tell me you were raised in a Christian home without telling me you were raised in a Christian home. So here's my PowerPoint on what it's like to live in a Christian home. First off, we got no Harry Potter because that's witchcraft and that's a no-no. We don't want to invite that stuff into our house. Mm -mm. And then we got no wizards are really placed because <laughs> that's witchcraft and that's a no-no. Mm -mm. And then no SpongeBob because he had a bunch of innuendos and he had a whiny voice and that wasn't True. good, you know? And then we don't celebrate Halloween, nope. but like we still dress up, you know, we still, you know, celebrate Halloween, but we don't celebrate Halloween. Like we do like <laughs> trunk or treat or something at church or, you know, we go to church on Halloween or something. And then, you know, making up other words to replace cuss words. Like my go-to is like, that's freaking baloney or, oh snap from that's a Raven classic. So that's just a few to name, you know. <laughs> that's pretty legitimate. That's good. That's pretty legitimate. Yep. But I thought you were supposed to tell me you were raised in a Christian home without telling me. And he said we were raised in a Christian home. The whole PowerPoint was based on saying it. Mm -hmm. But legitimate. Legitimate. Yeah. Yeah, you what? You got to safeguard what your kids watch. Yeah, SpongeBob was a big thing. Yeah, and so was Smurfs. Well, apparently, there's a whole thing regarding that in terms of uh, people from Africa. Actually, it was, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, the associate at Revival Today. What's his name? I can't remember right now. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. What's his name? No, 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 no. Um, Kofi. Kofi, yes. Kofi. Pastor Kofi educated um, uh, Tony and Morgan on gnomes. And apparently they're like these. He's seen them where it's like little almost demon slash hellions or something like that where they're cannibals and they go around. And so he, they don't say gnomes or smurfs or something like that. How does gnomes and smurfs go together? I don't remember, but it's something to do with African okay. culture and okay. voodoo and all this weird witchcraft and stuff. But I got to say, my favorite one was probably the guy running off screen because that it's just clearly a joke to me. Let's find out. Let's find out if it's if there's a crowd there. But anyway, that's all I got. That's all I got. I got nothing. Well, thanks for tuning in. Yep. See you later.